Alright, shooting in three, two, one. Moving. Hello Warfighters, War is Hell, welcome to a brand new episode of Arma 3 Multiplayer Gameplay and Arma 3 Milsim with the Milsim Unit Task Force Odin. We're continuing on with this deployment in Livonia, and where we're at right now is due in large part to what happened at the end of the previous episode, which was about Wolf and I going undercover, pretending to be recruited by the enemy forces. We got to one of their training camps, we were able to destroy the training camp and also get some valuable intelligence. That intelligence led us to this position, which is an abandoned Livonian radar facility, or at least we thought it was abandoned. It seems like inf uh, insurgent forces have moved into the area, they're starting to bring it online, which is gonna be a significant problem for us because we wanna make sure that we've got uh, freedom of movement, especially through the air. We rely a lot on helicopters from getting us to point A to point B. And so not only is that radar going to be a problem for them pinpointing where we are and how to respond to us, but they've also occupied the position with AAA. So the order of what we're gonna try and do is one, move in, eliminate the AA, and eliminate all other forces that are in there because if we could do that, then Livonian defense forces can occupy the position and it'll be a benefit to us. Now, if we can't do that, then as an absolute worst case scenario, we are going to destroy the radar dish itself. So hopefully it does not come to that. Now we do have to be really sneaky for this one because this installation is heavily defended. We've got, um, I wanna say like 10 people on the ground or something like that uh, to that effect. So we're, we're heavily outnumbered, but if we're smart, we can go in, hit what we need to and get out. So uh, that's kind of what uh, is on our mind here. So there's gonna be a lot of stealth operations, especially here uh, towards the beginning. Now we can't use IR at all. so. I uh, won't have any IR lasers or uh, any illumination from IR just because enemy forces now have uh, NVGs too. So it seems like that the Russian forces have really been uh, providing uh, you know, support to these insurgents by providing them AAA uh, NVGs. So th this is gonna be really, really difficult. We're gonna see how this all pans out. Now, just starting off here, we've reached the perimeter of the installation itself. So there's a, an outer fence that we just have to be conscious of. There are guard towers that are up there. Once we get past that, then we should be able to get really close to where the facility is, so we're gonna be careful. Now, uh, I will let you guys know just right here from the beginning, I did make a mistake when it comes to my kit. Uh, I got everything that I needed except for a compass because I just don't think about grabbing a compass. Uh, so that's gonna kind of lead off here. Uh, one of the big influences for me volunteering for something up ahead. Anyway, I'm going to leave it right here so you guys can enjoy everything that's going on. I will cut back in a little bit to keep the story moving. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. I want two guys under that tower. I want one of you guys to bolt up there and, and uh, grab his radio in case he tries to radio out. I'll do it. I need a compass anyway. Okay. Wait, one. How I'll go up with uh, them and come up with them. Uh, we'll be taking out one of the sentries on the perimeter one wire. Uh, I'm going to have one of my guys grab the radio and monitor it for op four communications just in case something happens. Alright, uh, snack, take, um... Flight with you and, uh, get ready to, uh, oh. grab his radio. He wants to start moving now? Yep, start moving now. Alright, let's go, Blythe. Go with Sackbar. He's gonna grab the uh, radio off of the watchtower officer. I'm on you, Snack. Don't worry. A firm. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Yep, there's two more guys here. There's uh, two right underneath it. I could take the guy out up top. Synchronize the takeout, maybe? There's two patrolling at the fence right at the base of it, in addition to one guy on the right side who seems to already be dead. Um, and then we've got the guy standing on the left. How many contacts total? I popped my head up and I saw three. Are they moving? 
I saw him moving right to left. I, I could try to peek my head up there again and see. Um, I don't know if you want us to risk it, though. Um, two times armed hostiles, three times armed hostile patrol heading right to left, moving uh, west-southwest down the main MSR right now. Looks like a four-man patrol scratch that. They're moving away from the watchtower right now. Let's hold until they clear area. I also have eyes on another uh, watchtower guard from what it appears to be. Um, direct north, northeast, um, bearing eight. I could be wrong. You see what I'm talking about? Direct north, northeast? That, uh, big guy's heat sick? Nah. -uh. Oh, yep, yep, right. I see him. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna take out the tug on the tower, watch right the there. patrol any from aggro. Uh, yeah. take him out before any shots get sprung off. Copy. Alright, All right, yeah, guys, make sure you go check with them. Moment that he drops, I'll All right, uh, shooting in three, two, one. Moving. There's an opening right here. I'm moving a little slower now. What's I'm in that? the tower. Control. I'm in the tower. The patrol is moving left to right, direct west and north, probably 50 meters or less from the tower. Three man patrol, armed with AKs. Watching west. I got his radio coming down. I'm down. Glad to have you guys here. Watch west, patrols west. Patrol is moving uh, northwest uphill away from tower. Sing, do not engage, then not threat the current point. A firm. If I got eyes on, it is a current five-man patrol. Got three at the bottom base on the left-hand side. About two to three at the top. Right at the uh, two-story building at the top of the hill. Looks like one-time sniper on the rooftop. What'd you say? Straight toward northwest. All well, seems to be advised. One is uh, currently just AFK. Grab some dirt and eat it. Uh, negative. I was just doing a quick match. I haven't had to bury my face to make sure that the light didn't come up. There's a tower right up there, northwest. Yeah. All right. A uh, three. Present. Is that you up on the tower? No, no. that's five. All right, five. I'd recommend getting down on that tower just in case. Copy. All right. Uh, two, four, five, hold here, three, you're gonna come with me. Um, we're gonna try to do some sneaky shit. Sneaky it is. I'm gonna see if I can find a nice bush to crawl into. Uh, two, what I want you here for is, uh, shit goes south, I need you to cover, uh, get a base of five set up ready to cover us. One, two, eight, five. Alright, that's cool. All right, so I've got access to a radio, which means I can monitor communications. If we start to hear that they uh, have spotted one of the other teams, or if we get some information over that radio, we'll be able to act accordingly. So now what we're going to do, at least Wolf and I are, we're going to try and move up to the next fence, which should be at the very edge of the compound. Once we get past that fence, we should be inside to see if we spot anything. We'll continue to be sneaky, but that's coming up ahead. Yo, we got static MG on that building directly front.
Did you see that machine gun? Yep. Looks like a uh, plated 50 be cal. We're going to be setting up SBF outside the wire, just in case that patrol loops back. I don't see anybody on it, Copy. though. He could be, like, There's ducking down. Image on it. We have a thermal image. You do? There's something behind it, yeah. Okay. Osiris is stagging one, be advised. Some of you guys got mounted machine guns up on one on other structures. Does that tower have anybody in it? Looks like three lights. Right up ahead. Right on that corner. The AA gun sitting right there. Two right there. One, be advised. Uh, we've got eyes on that AAA. So right up to the corner. One, two, A firm. One, piece. permission to engage patrol oh, if it comes behind. too close. Hold on, they're talking to you. Copy. Uh, try the A for as long as you can. What's that? You have thermals on your on your VG? Nope. Okay. So there's a triple A sitting right in front of us. Okay. Guys on one of the tigers. Just on the other side of the this tree? Uh yeah, on the wall. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, this is saving one to be advised. We've got eyes on uh one times tigers, triple A. Five to one. Two, bring three, five, one hundred meters, meters out from the secondary fence line. I think you know what I want to do right now. One, this is two, solid copy. We're breaching first perimeter line, pushing to second. That's what I want to try to do. I want to try to get you on the other side of this to plan to charge on it. One, this is five. Be advised, life secondary patrol to your guys' north and east. Probably almost ten men pushing through the forest line right now. Forest line. Now we're going to bring everybody up with us. And I have to be very careful right here because I don't want to aggro the AAA as I move in. The hope is I could just lay down some demo blocks next to it, damage it to the point where enemy forces are going to get out of it. We can eliminate the crew that way. Or hopefully we can just destroy it. But once we do that, the enemy is obviously going to know that we're here. So things are going to light up pretty quickly. You'll see how this goes in the next part. You guys are going to have to speak to me on radio. I can't hear you. Be advised, uh, you and Ricky are going to hold here. Myself, Mike, when the snack has even got a charge place on that AA site. Good. Hey, firm, watching east and south. I can't get up there. Oh, me neither. I don't have the bot. Oh, oh cutters. Yep, I see it. There's a guy on that rooftop uh, MG setup. Do you want me to drop him or no? Look through the hole. Wolf, we're across. One, this is two. Push right along the fence. There's a hole. You have to go around the tree.
fact, let me take points I got thermal energy. No, I see it right there. I see it through that opening. Okay, it's more just keeping an eye of where the enemy is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cross you real quick. Just to get across while I still can. Okay, stack, hold here. There's a bunker on the other side of the uh, AA. I'm worried there's somebody in there. Hold here. Stay low, hug to the wall, shift to the left. Two chargers set. Okay, snack. Two. Get very high. Two, three. Start bounding. Start pulling back to the uh, entrance. We just had to engage small patrol. It. I was blown. Use that radio to tell them that we're being attacked from the south, from the west. Radio tell them we are being attacked from the west. Patrol of four, but we're compromised. They know we're here. We've got guys on the wire to the west. Get away from the hole in the wall. Guy on top of the MG up on the roof is down. You guys should be clear to pull out. Alright, Wolf, we gotta go, and we gotta go now. They totally shot first. Alright, come on, Snack. Alright, I'm moving with you. 4 5, we're booking it. Friendly's coming through, guns. Demo, 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 demo. Blowing now. To the east, they're firing from the east. Am I clear to tell Raven 1 is fuel? Book it, let's get the fuck out of here. Form up on 2, top push it southwest. 
Drop Stop it. pushing on me. We're taking this compound. Push in. Push in. Push in. We're taking. Drop fuck it. me. Be advised that AA didn't get knocked out. Say again that AA did not get knocked down. It's two demo blocks right on it. It should be back this way. Should be back west. Yeah, but if I snap that charge and then take it. I put two down on it. Blackburn, get back here. I've got AT, I can take it out that way. Yep, yeah, dude, go go for it. Go for it. Stay away from behind me. All clear? Yeah, we're all away from it. Rocket, rocket, rocket. Well, I didn't do it either. I'm thinking the same thing as you, Rookie. Rookie, let's poke our head around this bunker to the left. Roger. Anybody in there? So I'll admit, I was a little frustrated right there. There wasn't anything that gave us any indication whatsoever that we had uh, done enough damage to the vehicle that it was going to blow up. And honestly, with that amount of delay, I had never seen anything like that before from an Arma vehicle. A lot of times you'll have maybe uh, some smoke that's coming out of it or a little fire that will give you an indication, hey, this thing is about to cook off, get away. Uh, but we didn't have anything like that at all. And I think a lot of uh, what made me think that nothing was gonna happen too was just previous experiences that I've had using some of these assets against vanilla uh, assets where you know, I, I think one mission, a, uh, a vehicle, it might've been an APC, took seven or eight uh, rounds from an M136 before it finally was destroyed. I'm like, okay, you know, it took one to the turret. It took uh, two um, demo charges as well. It should have been destroyed. But since I didn't see anything, I didn't think about it. Uh, and I thought we were just going to operate under the whole assumption of, you know what, since I can't place these demo charges where I want to on the vehicle in Arma, we'll just assume that I did it. And obviously with the AT round to the turret, I. Uh, it, it's it's done for. All right, I just thought we were gonna RP that 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 worked, but not the case. In fact, this was actually a pretty bad situation for us because our team was pretty heavily wounded after that. You know, rookie went down, I went down. Um, I think we had another person who went down too. I can't remember who it was. Um, but anyway, so that put us in a really bad position. We had the other team in a different part of the compound, wasn't able to come support us. And things just got really hectic after that because with the enemy knowing that we're here and our two teams separated like this, uh, we really had to try to see how we could salvage the situation. So in the next part up ahead, you'll be seeing the enemy obviously alerted to our presence. We're not gonna be quite as sneaky anymore. And there's a lot of enemy that are still left in the compound. So we're gonna have to get really creative if we're gonna wanna try and get out of this one in one piece. You'll see how it all goes right up ahead. I'm trying to hit that, but he's not dying. He's, is he dead? He's dead now, there's a back door. Good copy, breaching. Oh shit, that's smoke, that's smoke. How bad? Breach, Continuing breach. breach. Friendly. I'm hit. 
One more, back. Take a moment to heal, we got it. Pushing left. Garage secure. I'm gonna set some demo blocks in here. Good copy, Snack. Everybody take five in here, get yourself patched up, we're gonna be pushing on. Uh, can command confirm if we can, uh, apprehend one of the armored vehicles? Hey, Torty, you got me on one, two, zero. And, How you uh, doing, buddy? Need help? He's just a Cyrus group, what the f Do we have any, uh, comms with HQ? Enemy outside. Enemy outside. What the radio free saw is, uh, command net on. Long range is 5-0. Two, if you can get a hold of comms, will you ask them if uh, we need to dispose of friendly right. bodies? Uh, whenever you feel ready, remove your tourniquet. Yeah, I'll take it off. Hey, fam. Moving outside garage, gonna move along the west face of garage to north end. Outside garage clear. Anyone on one two zero? Moving on top of garage. And down. One down, one down. Friendly down. Charge just sat inside garage, ready to blow whenever. Oh wait, I'm on top of the roof. No, 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 no I'm not detonating it right now. I'm just saying I'm I'm ready whenever. <laughs> okay, wait for me to get off the roof. <laughs> okay, we got one down, one down. This is, uh, Sable 1, be invited. I need you guys to hold that HQ building. I need one of you guys to get on top uh, and signal for the uh, heavy chiefs that has a yeah, cell yeah, I don't have the supplies for this one to help me. Uh, roger that. We're not gonna use LZ in the garage since we're blowing it. Uh, let's secure another LZ. Guys, I need you guys to secure the, the headquarter building. Say again, secure that roof on the headquarter building. Roger that, move it up. One, this is two, copy, we'll secure it. Alright, Snack, Corny, you want one, two, zero? That was fine. Hey, yeah, I'm with, uh, Saber right now. We got TP to the wrong location. I got Ray with me, Ray's down currently. Alright, Blind, Mayor, stay here, we'll go secure the HQ building as soon as he's stable, move into the HQ building, got it? Got it. Alright, on me, Snack. Alright. On me, Rookie. Stay last, Corny. One, this is to be behind, we'll push into to secure HQ rooftop at this point. One, this is to be advised, rooftop is secure. I say again, rooftop is secure. Clearing lower levels. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that hurt me too. I'm guessing that's the uh, heli. Or no. You would be right. Yeah, that's an A firm. Alright, fly, rookie, safe ground for security. Let's make sure nobody can push up into the roof. My roadies didn't even hit anything. Rookie snack, set ground floor security. You copy? Hey, it's just one I survived. Not a good idea for me. Frames are dying. I copied too. I'm still up here on the roof. I'm moving Ray over to your position now. Five, this is two. Come on, guys. Got shots coming in from the east. Blythe, you copy? I'm here. Blythe, how's our dude from Osiris group looking? 
Uh, he's unconscious right now. It says he has no pulse. We've been trying to do CPR this whole time. I don't have enough anephrine to jumpstart his heart right now. Coming into the building. Fly 2, pushing you. Hey, Blackburn, where you at? Main entrance. One down, uh, east. Just time now, come then. I need cover, I'm entering the building. Hey, you might want to keep your head down, rookie. There's uh, shots coming in from the east. It's at a bad angle, so it's not operable. Evan, be advised. CCP is marked on the tab. Ah, I got hit. Hey, I need medical over here. Uh, for Ray. Where is over here? Oh, Blythe just went down. I'm dragging him back. We got a technical. Blythe is down, dragging him back. All teams be advised, we have technical censoring the area. All teams collapsed. Raise the AIA. Collapsed the HQ behind Alright, Blythe, let's take a look at you. Oh. Looks like that must have hurt. One to the head. Let's get you patched up. We're already here, Wolf. I'm right next to you. Everybody in Osiris, collapse the HQ building. Alright, there we go. Uh, is this an Alan um, we going technical on? gunner down. Uh, it's on BFI, we've got so many casualties to operate. Check pulse. Oh. oh, no heart rate. Let's do uh, some CPR. Cyrus members, we are currently in Alamo situation. Try not to get hit, because nobody's coming for us. Hey, it's not sorry, baby. KIA, brother. What are you talking about? I'm right here. KIA, KIA. All right, what, what are you talking about? I'm right here. How, how am I, I KIA? I don't understand. I'm I'm right here. I'm I'm not respawning. I love you, Wolf, but okay. I'm not respawning. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Blight burn your KIA respawn. I've got a heart rate on Blythe now. He's just unconscious. Whoever can medic. Wolf, I have a potential way out. You might not like. Yeah. We have a technical uh, sitting dead. He's uh, doing long range support from the trees. Wolf, I have a way out. You might not say like. It's about 200 meter, no, that? 300 meters out. We've got BTRs in the uh, garage to the north, uh, to the west of us. We could snag one, take okay. a quick bolt out of here. Yeah, do that. Take, take down two people, grab them first. Have it okay. as he says. Fire, so you want to come with me? Fire. Snag you a BTR? Okay. One, I'm taking fire. We're gonna have to like hop out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Two, KA, respawn. Are you too heavy? No, I just need to carry through it, so yeah. Alright, I'm moving out. Right behind you. Yeah. Over here to the the west.
Fire, you good? Yeah. All right. We're gonna take this guy. Okay. Do you want to take one and I'll take one? Sure. Oh wait. Here, let me open this one for you. See if we can get out. Oh uh, yes, thank you. There you go. One, we got the BTRs. We will meet you on the uh, southeastern corner of the building. Fire, you good? Is everybody out? Now at this point, we've got everybody who's still alive loaded into a BTR and we are able to get away from the compound as you can see right here. And we're pretty fortunate that that happened because this was starting to turn into an Alamo style mission where we were going to be up there on the roof just trying to hold out as long as we could. And I didn't think we were really going to be able to do it for that long. You saw that on the roof of that particular building, uh, there really wasn't much cover for us. We weren't able to see too far because of some of the trees around us. The enemy had technicals. We saw that they had BTRs obviously in that uh, installation as well. So who knows what else they could have thrown at us and, and we didn't have any way to really counter that. So um, we're fortunate to get out of here, at least uh, some of us still alive. Now there are some major consequences for us because of what happened right here. We always try to think about, okay, what's the outcome of the mission and how is this gonna tie into the overall story and how are things gonna change for the next mission? So we had been operating this whole time not wanting uh, Russia or CSAT or anybody else to know that CTRG was operating in the area to support the Livonian armed forces. Now, obviously we weren't able to grab all of the intelligence we had on us or everything that identified us as you know, NATO forces. And so publicly it is announced that NATO is sending special forces in to try and support uh, the Livonian Defense Forces, and it just becomes chaotic after that. So there's going to be some very significant ramifications for us losing this the way that we did. And I had said this to everybody too before we ended the mission, but I actually love the fact that we can lose missions like this and there are consequences like this because it, it does create a more dynamic story. So I'm, I'm just loving how this is going to go. You guys are going to have to come back for the next episode of this Milsim series to see what those consequences are and how we're going to deal with them. Um, but yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. Anyway, thanks for watching this all the way through. I really appreciate you guys uh, doing that, commenting, liking, all of that stuff. Biggest thanks, though, goes to everybody at Patreon for supporting me, allowing me to make content like this. Really, I couldn't do it without them, so thank you guys. Uh, and if you want to support me in the same way that they do, or if you want to uh, have your name pop up on the screen like theirs, all you got to do is check the description below. You'll find the link to Patreon. And that's where you can go to support me. Anyway, thanks again for watching, you guys. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.